Well, hey guys, it's uh, Thorzax here, and uh, I want to start this off uh, by saying, you know what? I want to welcome all the new subscribers that I got. I mean, I, I, I've just been getting a bunch of new subscribers in, and I'm going to tell you something, guys, uh, that really means a lot to me. It really does. I'm, I'm almost at the 500 mark. <laughs> I mean, you know, I've been at this for, oh, um, over a year now, and, uh, you know, I, I just kind of had this mediocre show, you know, that I put on there and that sort of thing, so, you know, and I've had subscribers, and, you know, come in, and some people come, some people go, whatever, but, you know, I, I'll tell you what, though, you know, I mean, the 500 mark to me is, wow, 500, 500 subscribers, it's pretty cool. What I wanted to talk with you guys about today, um... I was talking to loads of bacon, and we were talking back and forth about bullet molds and this and that and the other thing, and uh, I told him that one of the things that I wanted to kind of get into uh, was the Harry Reeves revolver match. Now, if, if, if you guys haven't ever heard of that before, well, Harry Reeves was a lawman, and, uh, you know, his his claim to fame was the Model 19. He loved the Model 19. That was his pistol. And what happened was is that, um, you know, he's, he's kind of a legend, you know, as far as a revolver guy. Um, I can't remember. I think he was Arizona or Texas or Nevada. One of the, uh, He was a state trooper. Maybe even California. Well, anyway... Um, they designed this match around him. Now what it is, is that it's a 30 shot aggregate. And what you get is you got 10 rounds slow fire. Okay. Then you have 10 rounds of time fire in two uh, 20 second strings. And then you have 10 rounds of rapid fire, which is 10 rounds in two uh, 10 second strings. So and, and the whole thing is shot at 15 yards. It isn't like we're shooting across the, you know, the Great Divide here. We're, we're, we're shooting at 15 yards. And we're shooting at, a, at reduced targets. So, that's one reason why I got this. I, I, I got my Model 14. Um, this, is, this is classic for shooting this, 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 uh, this style of match. Um... Your slow fire pistol target. Oh no no this is a uh, time from rapid. Excuse me. This is your slow fire pistol target. Okay, so you got your ten ring, nine eight seven six five four. Okay, anything outside the four ring out here is a miss. Okay, so. Uh, anywhere inside of the black, you're doing good, you know, and what I usually do is I put that front sight, you know, right there, right there on the center, and I use a center hold, and I squeeze, and let the gun recoil come back, recover from it, squeeze, you know, and just, just, just take your time, and take a shot, you know, when you're comfortable to take the shot, you got 10 minutes, you know, to shoot 10 rounds at this target, you know, so, and then, you know, once you're done, you're done. Uh, go ahead and score it, you know, and uh, write your score down, you know, and that's it. Um, your timed and rapid fire, on the other hand, uh, on this round, you get uh, 20 seconds on your time fire. And you got your X, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Anything outside the 6 ring is a miss. Okay? So, it can be pretty challenging, to say the least. Um, the, this is the B3 target. You see right there, the B3 uh, official competition target. And you also have the B2, which is your, um, this is your slow fire target. And you can get those at Midway, you can get them at uh, any any outfit that sells um, your, you know, your, your, your targets, wherever you buy your targets from. 
uh, you know, and, and, and you don't even necessarily even have to go out and buy these targets. I mean, you know, you can just go ahead and, and take a, uh, a round, you know, can and, and, and just set it on a, uh, you know, set it on a pie plate and then darken that in and just shoot at that, you know. And as long as you're getting them all in the black, you're doing good, right? Then you can go ahead and you can start, you know, shooting at targets and start to, sh you know, score yourself. It's all shot at 15 yards. There's another, uh, Another thing I wanted to go ahead and bring up too. Uh, let's see. It's an app that you can get. And what it is, it's See if I can go back here. to read here Dave but I have the toughest time but anyway it has your range commands already on there and if you want to do your slow fire it'll call out the line for you and so say like you're going to get ready to go ahead and do your slow fire so you just press slow fire that'll give you 10, ten minutes shots, slow fire 10 shots in 10 minutes load you know give the load command is the line ready it'll ask if the line's ready the line is ready ready on the right Ready on the left. Ready on the firing line. And then the horn goes off. So, at the moment that that horn sounds, you've got 10 minutes. You know? You've got your 10 minutes. Line up your shot. Take your shot. You know, take a look through your spotting scope, see where that round went, you know, you know, and, and, and pay attention to your sight alignment. Take another shot, and then take another shot, and then take another shot until all your all your rounds are, are, are used up. Now you can use um, you know you can use uh, 148 grain wad cutters, you can use um, 158 grain round nose. It really doesn't specify there. Now the round nose will tear up the target a little bit. But I'm going to tell you what, uh, Lyman, they're, um, I think it's the uh, 358 uh, 311 uh, mold. That is one accurate bullet. It's a round nose bullet. But man, that thing will shoot. It's probably one of my favorite as far as 38 special. It will fly, it is flat accurate. Um, your time fire, same thing. This is a string of timed fire. Five shots in 20 seconds. With five rounds, load. Then everybody loads. Is the line ready? The line is ready. Ready on the right? Ready on the right? Ready on the left? Ready on the firing line. Ready on the firing line. And then the horn goes off. And then your countdown.
Okay, that second, the, the second horn blast, that's cease fire. Okay, if you didn't get them all off, okay, say like you have a couple of saved rounds uh, still in your gun and you didn't get them all off, well, that's something that you're going to have to work on. You're going to have to work on uh, getting quicker with your sight alignment and getting quicker with your uh, reflexes on recognizing, um, you know, where your front sight is and squeezing the round off, you know, just getting into that mode, you know. Um, the third string, you've got rapid this is fire. The string of rapid fire. Five shots in ten seconds. With five rounds, load. Is the line ready? The line is ready. Ready on the right. Ready on the left. Ready on the firing line. I know this is kind of boring, guys, but I wanted to show you this app. I mean, I think this app only cost me like a dollar or something like that to go ahead and download. That's, that's all the time you've got to shoot five rounds right there and shoot them as accurately as you can. Uh, you shoot two strings of the rapid fire, you shoot two strings of the time fire. And uh, you can go to iTunes and get this. You know, uh, like I said, I think it's like a dollar or something like that to go ahead and download it. Not a big deal. Um, I don't know how many times that <laughs> a new shooter, what will happen is that he'll get done with his rapid fire, his first string, okay? And then uh, he'll shoot his, you know, second string, okay? After you shoot your 10 shots, okay, and they call out the line, they say, uh, you know, once, you know, once, once the, the targets turn away, uh, you know, they'll say, uh, cease fire, cease fire, uh, is there any saved rounds on the right? Are there any saved rounds on the left? And, you know, if you have any saved rounds, you have to claim them, okay? And if you have an alibi, so like, for instance, you had a jam with your semi-automatic, you know, you'll have the, you'll have a referee come by and a referee will, will look at it and say, okay, you know, go ahead and clear the jam. And then you'll go ahead and you'll fire in what they call the uh, alibi shoot. And, you know, you'll get a chance to shoot five more rounds in the alibi shoot. The thing is, though, on the alibi shoot, uh, you get the low 10. So say like, for instance, you got three shots off and then you had, you know, two misfeeds or you had a misfeed and, it, and, it, and you still had, you know, two rounds in the gun. And so you call the alibi. Now you don't try to clear it. If you want the alibi, don't try to clear it. Just leave it jammed and then the guy will come over and look at it and he'll give you the alibi on it. Uh, and so, so you go ahead and you fire, you know, again, your next, you know, string of five rounds, okay, and then you'll shoot what's called the alibi, and which is another string of five rounds. The thing is, though, is that, you see, you get the low 10 on hits on your target. You'll have 13 hits on your target, but you'll get the low 10 on that. So three of those hits, whether they be X's, 10's, whatever, 9's, you know, uh, those are the ones that you're going to get. And, and say, for instance, you get that, that, that whole thing with the jamming up of the gum or whatever like that shook you up. And so, like, for instance, you jerk the trigger, and next thing you know, you got a shot out there on a five ring. Guess what? You eat that five. So sometimes getting the alibi shoot is not always a good thing. I mean, getting, getting to shoot the alibi shoot is not always a good thing. Uh, sometimes it can work in your advantage. Some, you know, sometimes it, it 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 doesn't. So you know, getting the alibi shoot is not a it's not a way of cheating. So uh, anywho, uh, what else did I want to go over? Um, this is a way that you can kind of hone your skills, you know, and it's something that you can do yourself with the app that I showed you. Um, you know, for uh, for 148 grain wad cutter 38 special, you use like uh, you know 2.7 grains of bullseye. 
you know, through 158 grain. Uh, I usually use, you know, 3.4 to 3.8 grains of bullseye. Uh, it's a little more recoil, but you know, it's a little tougher to do too. So, you know, that puts a little challenge in as, as well. So, what I'm going to do is uh, one of these days get out there to the range and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fire this and put it on, on film for you guys and show you that, you know, this is tough. This is not, this, is, this isn't easy to do. It's tough to do. And, uh, you, know, I, it, you know, it doesn't hurt to challenge yourself every once in a while you know, to do things like this. Now, I wanted to clear something else up, too, that Elvis brought up. Okay? Shooting should be fun. And that's true. I mean, I totally agree with that. Recreational shooting, I mean, it, 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 it does, it's therapeutic. Getting together with your friends and stuff. That, I mean, I didn't mean to come across too uptight on the last video I did uh, during coffee chat that I'm wrapped around the axle too tight and you know I'm you know I'm a little bit too serious about this stuff and you know you can take this at you know any 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 time that you want I mean you can fire the slow fire over and over and over and over again in fact you can go to the range and just make it nothing but slow fire and practice your slow fire or practice your time fire or practice your rapid fire you know, and then go ahead and put a slow fire up and uh, a couple of rapid fires and then shoot that whole thing for score for your aggregate. And it will be a 300 aggregate. So, you know, you go ahead and score, you add up the score. And also you can go ahead and look in the NRA book and see how, you know, percentage-wise where you're at as far as a marksman. Whether or not you're in the marksman, sharpshooter, uh, expert, um, you know, we consider the top where you're kind of you're, you're you're on the line there of between expert and master, uh, sort of a high expert, okay, and then you get into master. Now a lot of guys they'll teeter right there, they'll teeter right on the edge of going into master, and they'll just you know I mean I would probably say uh, 60 65 percent of the shooters out there that are on a 2700 are already masters. And most of them are teetering right there on that edge of going into a, a high master or, um, excuse me, not a master, but um, expert, you know, high expert, teetering on going into master. And they teeter there. And because breaking into master, is, 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 it's a hard thing to do. Then you're in a whole different category. So, you know... It, it, it has its steps to it as you get into it. Um, so anyway, that's my video today. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, share, like, and subscribe, and leave your comments. Uh, this is Thorzax, and I'm signing out.